really? How much armor does this thing have? Only eight inch. Wait, what? Main gun? Oh no! Oh, that. Kill him! Kill him now! He's like the only guy who can do like meaningful damage. Kill this guy, please. Thank you. Okay. Hello, guys. This is Low Tech Gaming here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. All right. So we're going into the next challenge: Armed Convoy Attack. So we can build a very expensive battle cruiser or heavy cruiser or light cruiser and we can use this to go ahead and take on an entire fleet. However, our only objective is to kill the six transports. We have an hour to do so, so we have plenty of time. Um, I'm always going to go with guns and fire control just because I feel that just base accuracy is better than anything. It doesn't matter if you can survive unless you can like actually destroy the enemy. I mean, taking the examples that we had from the previous battle, we'll probably... I mean, I feel like we should probably go ahead and get two of these battle cruisers if we can, so... We can't really spend that much money. I mean, in that sense, maybe this would be better. Yeah, going ahead and doing this. Um, decreasing the range, increasing the bulkheads a little bit, decreasing the... Well, I actually haven't got into this here. There we go. Alright, uh, funnels, we'll just go with one. Oh, uh, we can get two? Well, it'd be nice to get better speed, so sure, why not? Uh, actually, we might not be able to do that. Uh, it's like, depending on if we want to abandon getting two of these. Because we could just get one. I think we have some level of can follow. Yeah, let's just go and do one. That's fine. That just gives us more money to work with here. Go with auto loading. Auto loading, electro hydro turn so it can turn very quickly. I should really have used the ball bats to probably put more guns on it. I'm like thinking probably in terms of damage Probably the 13 inches are the way to go. 13 to 14. 16 inches way, way too much or so. But then 9 inches like just ludicrously bad. I'm like, um, actually I'm feeling like the 14 inches are better just because they have the 22% accuracy at 5,000 meters or so. The only other gun that has that is the 16 inch. So the 14 inch seems to be the best middle ground in terms of accuracy and damage so I have to go with those um, I'm probably not going to be able to fit two of these no I have to get rid of the other thing like here let me get rid of this um, just go with the hell of four get rid of you um, there we go get another one Overlaps with the border. What the? What does that even mean? Uh, 16, 14, 14, 17, 18. It's like when designing some of these guns, they just kind of gave up. It's like, how do you have it where you go down one, one caliber, but somehow you lose like, like, what is it? About like five percent of the accuracy. I don't really understand that. Well, it's even. Yeah, no, it's just ridiculous. You need a hundred and fifteen people to operate this fourteen-inch cannon. Really? Okay. I guess people were cheap back then, I suppose. Um. See if we can get like a ball bed or something. Or the, that won't work, but maybe a medium one over here. I doubt this would probably fit on there. No. No, only a secondary gun would work on that. I can't fit any of the ball bets that would actually work with it. So, I probably can't fit a 13, probably only a 12. No. 11. 
You're, you're kidding me. Oh, an 11 can't fit. Who would design such a thing? I I don't. What did I? What type of gun did I put on this? Ah, uh, fun. And my weights. Uh, here. There we go. Was it just my weight not allowing me to put any more guns on it? No. It. I don't know why I can't put. Really? I can't even put a 9 inch gun on this. I can put them on the side. If I want, but I can't put any. What did I put on this? Because this is like the same hole that I had before. Yeah, this is the same hole. A hole, so I'm just like, what. What can I fit on 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 this this top part? Because like I want to have at least some form of gun on here. Can I only fit eight? Really? Pitiful eight inch guns. That's all I can do. Ugh. That's just so sad. Put a bomb at this. So we can put at least a couple of them. Oh, that's just. That makes me want to cry. Um, heavy shells, um, any special powder. Do white powder, I guess. We still have a lot of money. It's just that we don't have much weight to work with. Not really any other technologies we can add, really. Don't really have that much weight either. Probably another bulkhead if I can. Standard. Can I go many? No. Oh, we'll just keep standard. We don't have that much armor as well, that's the big thing. So if we do get hit, we're gonna get hit hard. Though, going almost like 30 knots is actually, we should be fine. Alright, let's do it. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so it's like, in an ideal world, we would ignore... Oh, we're by ourselves. Oh my. I'm in danger. You know, focus firepower on the battleship. Let's see if we can take her out of it. Because these are just like dreadnoughts from what I can tell. Just poor dreadnoughts. So let's see if I can just like take out the heavier ships. The ones that could actually do me harm. Because we have better accuracy. Yeah, 32, that's, that should be fine. And we do have an hour or so, so if I can just go ahead and just tail these dreadnoughts apart. That would be glorious. Yeah, because we're going 32... Well, actually, we're going 20 knots, so despite having... We don't have enough, uh... Vents to go ahead and go the full 30, so... I mean, that's fine, so because actually speed is a really good defense. I just want to sink this guy. Before moving on to a different target. Because these guys have 11-inch cannons. They all have 11-inch cannons. Really? Well, oh, we'll fine, just do HE. Because we just need this guy to die. Nah, great, now we're starting to take a good amount of damage. Alright, switch targets to the closest battleship. We should be able to actually bracket this guy quite well. I mean, he is within 5 kilometers, so that's about 20... So, yeah, we can over-penetrate him, so that's why I'm using HE. Damn it, they got one of the, the boilers. 
Let's start losing speed. Somehow they're getting really lucky with these 6% shots. <coughs> like this one just took a drill act hit. I just need a cup, another volley of fire, and he should go down. Suffering from some more flooding. And a torpedo launcher? I know. Hey, what is it? Because the torpedo launchers, without you able to like use them manually, they have been quite useless in my opinion. Like, I'm just worried about the battleships here. I think um, I'll probably take out this last cruiser over here because it has an 11 inch gun, so that might be a threat. But after that, so I'll go ahead and just target the, the transports and finish them off. Nice, alright, cool, we're in business. Just wipe out this cruiser and we can uh, start targeting those transports. I'm not concerned about the the light cruiser over here. It's 8 inch gun is basically useless. It's it's literally going to do absolutely nothing to me. I should be able to take it out quite easily. I just need a hit. If I can take down a good amount of its speed, so its speed is what's keeping it alive right now, going 21 knots. Really? How much armor does this thing have? Only 8 inches. Wait, what? Main gun? Oh no! Oh, that. Kill him! Kill him now! He's like the only guy who can do like meaningful damage. Kill this guy, please. Thank you. Okay. I'm not too worried about the cruiser. I'm just going to probably shoot at it until I can get closer to his transport. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. What? Act oh, yeah. You know what? Never mind. Just start talking to transports. 20% of the time is already gone by. Let's go ahead and just take those out. It's sad because I lost one of my 11 inch cannons. Because most of his escort is down. Oh wow. All these 14 inch cannons, they are doing quite some work. take this course so we can get closer because we're like tearing these ships apart right here they are getting wiped wiped out now Ooh. Ooh. that was a good hit now right, these cruisers over here are just like the entire fleet just got wiped out we need to do something and like like literally how far away are they we're about five kilometers away trying to hit a target with like no percentage in accuracy whatsoever. We are way braver than them, I, I thought. I, I, I hate that we can't queue up multiple targets. But these ships can't really harm us. These light cruisers are effectively out of the battle here, they're useless by the time they get into firing range or self effective firing range. The battle is essentially going to be just over. Because we're just, we're just like hauling through all the transport ships right now. I mean, it'd be awesome if I had my other 14-inch cannon, so this could go by faster. But just how it is, this really <laughs> this extensive, extensive fire. So if you have basically everything on fire in the ship, it will literally just, it will just die, and it's just, it's just so marvelous. I love it. I like that. Mo my 9 and 14 inches are just going ahead and getting literally like 50, over 50% um, accuracy here. So at least like half these shows are going to end up landing. It's, it's, oh, 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 it's just awesome. 
Yeah, now, what is it? Positioning is going to be very key in this game. Like, the fact that he sent his light cruisers all the way over there made it so, like, they could never intervene in the battle. Like, they were literally just going to be out of the fight for the entire battle. By the time they get over here, the battle's going to be over. So, speed is a factor. It also looks like my guys got the other boiler room or so back up and running, which is cool. So, damage is repaired, just takes a long time. I can't imagine playing this in real time, because that's just, that's just too slow, and there's not really much going on in, on the ships themselves, I mean, I think it would be cool if you saw, like, crew members or so, if they got, like, if a shell hit, and some of them went, like, flying off or something, that'd be a little bit more interesting to watch, but just as it stands, so just, like, real time is just, like, so slow. We did it, one. That was, that was a cakewalk. I mean, I was worried that they were going to be like actual even level shits, but the way it stood, they just weren't that much of a challenge. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. That was actually very fun, very easy. So just, uh, just have to have the right ship and the right mindset. I think we're going to go into, um, oh, that's going to be hard. Yeah, the next episode going to be really hard. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take care, and I will catch you guys next time.